But let's all start back to the NBA. Lottery. Who lands it? The San Antonio Spurs. And what does that mean, Manny? What does that mean? Who's Who are they going to get? I mean, it's just like the Connor Bedard shit. Everybody knows who they're picking. It's unbelievable because, first of all, I can't say fuck the Spurs. But how I, <laughs> how do we manage? I mean, it's not it's not too bad. I think them getting David Robinson one and, and Tim Duncan one like that quick and that close together was fucked up. It has been a long time, but damn, they go through the they go through the depths of the shit. We look, we think Pop's gonna retire. Man looks like he needs to be in a nursing home. Stretch the fuck out. It gets Victor Dub. The fuck my like, and people were saying. I saw people saying like it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it isn't that big of a deal. They are a lottery team, but if you paid attention to the Spurs a little bit, they had some talent. Like they had some talent. There was a lot of games they played a bunch of young guys. They went 12, 13, 14 deep and got blown out by eighteen. But guys like Michael Brandon look really good. Trey Jones look really good. Like I don't know. There's some pieces over there. That if V-Dub comes in and is actually real, that's the real question. Is V-Dub actually real? Boy's a little skinny. We saw Chet, similar size. They didn't even make a regular season game. I do think that kid's special, though. Just seeing those clips, like, god damn. I, but, I mean, shout out to the Spurs. I, I honestly, my whole lottery thing, I feel so bad for the Rockets and Pistons fans. I mean, holy fuck. How did the Pistons fall that How, far? I, I mean, holy shit. How much do we have to go through? I thought about my Uncle Mikey's in, in fucking Detroit. I wanted to call him, but I'm like, right, if I call him right now, it's probably not a good time. How the fuck do we fall? I thought they were fifth? Yeah, they were And the five. Rockets are six? It was. I feel like that's, cool, that's two straight kicks in the dick, like back to back. Here y'all they go. They literally were saying on the broadcast, they're like, wow. So that's because everything, like, after each card kept turning, they were like, all right, that was exactly what we knew, according to plan according to plan according to plan and then when the pistons got flipped everybody was like just you could hear in the broadcast everyone was like whoa okay so that's our big change i don't know how they fell that far and i'm saying the same thing i mean you would think a team that is in shambles like them would have had one of the biggest chances to get number one it's posing the question for me so since we do know these these lotteries are rigged (laughs) did they did they rig it for the sixers back in the day did Hinky have his hand in shit? I mean, we were pulling him. We got the one number one pick. We got like a three pick. Maybe, maybe, maybe the league might not hate us as much as I say because I see the I see the purgatory that Pistons and Rockets fans going through, and I'm actually kind of grateful for the chance to be cut back in the day because that fucking I mean, God, I just pour one out for Pistons and Rockets fans. You guys don't deserve. I it. I really would like to know uh, what's going on if people are are you know, believing in this whole rig thing because now we've seen two lotteries where it's like, this is kind of sus. Obviously, like, you know my thoughts on the fucking Blackhawks one. I don't, I think that was okay. People are just mad that it's the Blackhawks. Someone get uh, someone get Webiana in the gym now. Yeah, well, well, what I was going to say about that is like, we remember when Giannis came into the league and we Mm -hmm. can see his size then versus now. Look at at AD last night. AD looks jacked now. He still gets hurt. He won't have any But he looks jacked now. And Bede looks jacked now. now. Like, I think, is this picture edited of him at all? He looks a little bigger in that picture than he normally does. They probably put a little light on him. Yeah. I mean, I, like. Give my man, I mean, he number one pick. Right, Just gas right. him up a little bit. I did like that they were all there. I was like, it almost looked like it was like draft. The night. draft, yeah. Like, I was like, what, bro? It's not now. Yeah. Um, And so I was like, wait a minute. Like, are we picking? Because like. I guess you really have to have that confidence to know that you're getting drafted first. If like when the Spurs get it, regardless, like who, like who, like my family, my friends that are around me, everybody was just clapping because they just know like that's gonna be you. And like I saw this um, on Fanduel, the odds uh, for for V Dubs to go first overall, it's minus two hundred, and then it's like the rest of the field is like plus one ten or plus one fifteen, something like that. I know him is minus two hundred. I don't know if I'm... He's going one, bro. So, like... And I saw a joke actually tweeted, and he was like, this is, like, actually one of the... Something along the lines of, like, this is actually one of the, you know, uh, locks that I would actually throw on a 200. Is Meaning, he, like, do you, like, fucking throw bands on the minus 200? I kind of have two questions to this. He's French, right? Okay. First question I have is gut feeling. Just your gut feeling you watch these clips. Is he the real deal, do you think? I do. I do. Second question. Is France about to cook the shot of this next <laughs> fucking Olympics? I had a feeling you were yo, going there. France was, real, France was real last Olympics. And mistake me if I'm wrong. 
I think Joel Embiid had said something after the Olympics about possibly playing for France. I could be tweaked out. Someone fact check that. So I think Embiid can play for France, even though his citizenship is, I think, Cameroon or some shit like that. I think he can play for France. If he plays for France, if Victor plays for France, they might fuck us up next Olympics because we'd be acting too cool. I'd be interested to watch this international basketball I think fucking expanding and shit this too. This is also shining light on like international players coming to the NBA. Absolutely. You know, like this is going to be a number one pick from internationally versus, you know, going the traditional, you know, D1 school route, play maybe a year or two there and then move on. Um, you know, so I think that's shining light there. While we're on this topic of college and international, do you want to shine some light here? Can we do we is this is this worthy of an applause? You tell me after I say it. Who? Uh Bronny going to USC? Yeah, that, shout out Bronny. That's worth it. 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 I mean, good luck. I you know, from the best. And we have. I hope we get the ball. You know, so that that way. that'll be nice there. Uh, Silence the haters. Rodman's going there as well. Seem like we uh, Rodman's kids going there. So seems like we got a little uh, little Silence powerhouse coming in. I saw the USC. I saw a headline that the um, the USC coach said something about the Bron like they're not going to be like people were asking that about their involvement. He's basically just like quote unquote like they're not they're not going to be involved. Like this is my team basically, and I like that. I think Brian wants it that way too. Now, yeah, coach might feel like right. a regular human being. Like I'm here, I can talk to him after your games, but coach him like a regular human. I like that. <laughs>